150, there goes the house. 160, oh, 160. I can see it exploding. Oh, I'm gone, 185. Oh boy, the oh, house is her. just exploding. So, uh, <laughs> Oh, hey Jesse, how you doing? See you guys, I'm out of here. Good luck. Oh, Radar's gone. Radar, look, it's rolling, it's rolling yeah. around. We just touched. Oh no. Oh, oh god. I'm oh, out. No, 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 no. Error, error, error. Hold on, hold on. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I am back in Twisted, continuing the Storm Chasing series. I'm joined by Evan, Ben, Zach, and Jay Killen, as well as Ryan Shepard. Ryan is the owner of the Tiv2, and he's going to tell us a little bit about the Tiv2, how he acquired it, and then we're going to go chasing. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, Ryan, tell me a little bit about the Tiv2 and uh, how you acquired it. Well, the Tiv2 is a 14,000 pound armored vehicle that we drive into tornadoes with and uh, try to position in front of a tornado and let it impact us. So yeah, with that, tell me a little bit about how you actually got the vehicle. Well, Sean actually put Tiv2 back on uh, Craigslist in 2019 after he made a scavenger hunt for Tiv1. The day after the scavenger hunt, he had posted Tiv2 on Craigslist. <laughs> and uh, I called him up that next morning, told him that I was interested in buying it. So yeah, that's pretty cool to hear the history behind the Tiv2. Now let's go over to Jay Killen for the weather. Yeah, so today we have a potent looking high risk with temperatures at 77 degrees Fahrenheit. Dew point is at 62 degrees Fahrenheit. For Cape, we are at 5,500 joules per kilogram and 139 joules per kilogram for the three Cape. For the zero to three kilometer lapse rates, we're at 8.4 Celsius per kilometer. Three to six kilometer lapse rates, we're at eight Celsius per kilometer. Precipitable water is at half an inch and the 700 to 500 millibar relative humidity is at 25%. Surface relative humidity is at 60%, which is a pretty low humidity day, so we might not get a lot of rain. Storm relative helicity, 530 meters squared per second squared. Looking at the STP composites, we got a significant tornado parameter of 13, a violent tornado parameter of 3. We got a storm motion of east at 69 miles per hour. And looking at the hodograph, we got a potent kind of sickle in the first three kilometers of the atmosphere. And we also got a little bit of veer back right here, too. So. In real life, this actually does have a little bit of effect on storms. I think there's still ongoing research about it, but it's interesting kind of seeing this uh, kind of realistic sort of veer back scenario. So yeah, it's going to be an interesting weather day. And uh, yeah, with that, let's go ahead, hop in our vehicles and start chasing. I guess I'll go as the Dow. Uh oh, bad news. I can't, my doors won't close. Now, Ryan, I know that you actually worked on the IMAX film Sean Casey was producing. What was your role in that film? I was actually a production assistant after uh, driving to for a little bit for one season. I ran the red IMAX truck. So yeah, you actually got to work with the IMAX cameras, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, it's a really heavy camera. It's got horizontally fed 70 millimeter film. It's gigantic film. And it's a really complicated process. And only a few people on the planet actually know how to run that camera. You just uh, flipped over. Shush. <laughs> you uh, saw nothing. Oh, I saw it. And I'm, I was like a mile away. Hey, you were driving on the wrong side of the road, so I don't want to. I don't care. It. Today I'm running IMAX in Tiv 2 in the turret. Just like in real life, Evan's driving. And I'll be in, in the back as the captain and filming with digital cameras now. So there you go. Pretty awesome stuff. So I'm assuming we're going right to Prior Lake as we usually do now. Nice yeah, sunrise. I think the, uh, yeah, the main kind of meetup point is usually the gas station in Prior Lake. Because, I mean, it's relatively close to the center of the map. So it kind of gives like an equal distance for trying to navigate to any storms that pop up. Yeah, it should be uh, a nice setup for today. I haven't actually looked at the weather myself because uh, you introduced it. But, yeah, that is a very interesting photograph. And, um, you know, I don't really understand photographs too well. But uh, with this photograph... Jay Killen, what tornadoes will we possibly be looking at today? Uh, like I mentioned, just based on this kind of sickle shape for the lower zero to three kilometer range, which is basically from the pink to the red. So the pink is zero to one kilometer, and then the red is one to three kilometers. And generally, when you get this kind of sickle shape, it can kind of indicate a basically a favorable potential 
for rotating updrafts to develop within storms, which then leads into developing supercells. And usually when you kind of get these long kind of sickle shapes, uh, that basically just favors tornadic potential because it favors supercell development. And kind of looking at this one, it kind of gives me like a vibe of like a long tracking kind of violent sort of tornado scenario. Yeah, so we got to be very careful with our chase today and not get too close. Well, maybe not for uh, the TIV. They can intercept. Speaking about storms, we might want to stop because there's one developing right behind me. Yeah, I think a good spot might be to go east over past through at where Almora is and maybe head up to the Sneed Dam. It's going to bring back memories from Lamar, Evan. Yeah, just a little bit. Y'all want to turn right here on 53, try to catch up with this thing? Uh, yeah. Basically, this next row to the right that goes through Almora. Oh, oh, some oh yeah. Winds are, Winds are picking up. We got 80. Tornado is right here. Yep, there it is. We, basically just, we all intercepted it. The ground circulation. Right, I'm pulling over here. Strong wind. Have y'all realized how large this wall cloud is? Yeah, it is a pretty wide base. We're gonna need to be careful. This thing's going for uh, Sneed and Medora. All right, I'm getting the dish active, getting the mast up and deployed. I'm trying to see oh. where this tornado is gonna drop down. Oh, power flash. Oh, no, yep. Right, scanned wind so, speed, 64 miles yeah. per hour. There it's it gonna is. be like yeah. out of the map by the time we probably get a good intercept. Uh, I think you've There's a uh, few good options. Here. Over near where the Sneed, uh, that road is that goes over Sneed. All right, I'm going to try to get ahead of this right now. I think I've got a good road network to use here, and it's just up by the dam. But i got to go pretty quick because this tornado is moving fairly fast. Yeah, the few scans I got so far, it was uh, showing about 70-ish miles per hour, but it was slowly going up. So it's, it seems to be strengthening. Based on the shape, it does look like it's a wide wedge now. Oh, it's on the river. Yeah. yeah. Winds are really starting to pick up. I think I'm getting the RFD at this point. Power flashes. Yeah, I think I'm getting a mix of, I don't know about the RFD, but it's kind of like both the inflow and then the RFD because I'm kind of to like the northwest side of it. Oh, power flashes right above me. I think it's coming towards us here somewhere. Yeah, Jesse, your, your truck has a pretty low wind threshold. I wouldn't go over there if I were you. I think I can handle it. All right, dropping probes. Oh boy, this has got to go fast. Here we go. Orange TVS is coming right for you, Jesse. All right. That's oh, coming for us, maybe. I can't. I'm just, I'm watching that left side. Oh, high tension power lines right next to us. That's going to be fun. Yeah, that's uh, not ideal. We're going to get a back little, down the road a little bit. Yeah, we're going to get over here just a little bit. But... Too big a debris. Oh, it is moving left a little bit again. Yeah. Yeah, it's about to cross this road. Oh, my gosh. Tree's going down. Yeah, Jesse is getting 80 over there. Oh, I'm gone. I've already gone, uh, 122 skate. Power flashes behind you. Is tip 2 intercept? I see them over there trying to intercept. All right, yeah, I'm we're trying to over. get in line. And I'm going to get some probes out. Red TVS. 141 on the, uh, probe right now. Or, uh, was on the probe. What? Was in the hatch. Roll an IMAX. That's probably ideal. All right, we're about to, we're about to intercept. 112 on probe. And... All right, we're in. Yeah, that was a direct Drop probe everything. intercept. Holy cow. We go. We're on the back side of it right now. What's Not your wind probably. speed, Evan? Uh, max we got was 137 on my probe, so. Yep, nothing same here. too crazy. Oh, eh, uh, yeah. Um, might have made a mistake. What do you mean you made a mistake, Evan? Uh, oh, I see the issue. There goes my vortex truck. There goes my uh, roof. Uh oh. Yeah, uh -oh. you uh, better get down because that thing is. Uh, that is a violent Very tornado. Violent. Yeah. I, only, I only have an interior room. There uh, goes the wall. Oh, the whole wall's gone. No, no. I'm gone. My driver's dead. Yeah. 185, 190, <laughs> 192. This new storm out west is growing really quickly. Oh, I didn't even see that. That one could be a long tracking one if it's to the very far west, which it seems to be. Yep. Unfortunately, I'm stuck between the edge of the map and the tornado itself. So I've got to wait for it to pass. Oh, it is tossing debris. Holy cow. But yeah, I gotta wait for it to pass before um, I can go anywhere because it's uh, blocking the road. All right, we do got a rotation symbol over on the new storm. Which I'm interested in using the T-Hib, uh, the radar, the airport radar, because it is higher resolution. I don't think this road crosses the river, Evan. No, it doesn't. See, we need Tyler as the navigator because... Yeah, I could see, uh, I think I see, if you could go south on that dirt road, yeah, that one dirt road that goes south, and then you should be able to get a good option to go all the way west and to any other road to get, uh, and 
front of this thing. Yeah, we're without our navigator today. All right, I'm oh. picking up my probes real quick. So I'm just going to grab these things and head over to that new storm, which looks really impressive. Oh, we got some huge hail. This is, uh, yeah, probably not a good idea to core punch into several million dollar vehicle with several inch wide hail. Oh, pink TBS going right into the south side of Funkley. Velocity also strengthened. This could be going right into the west side of Hazleton. Yeah, I'm going to try and get south and see if I can get a clear view of this thing and get some scans. All right. Uh, tornado is multi vortex. Uh, and uh... it just took a northern turn as well. I can see it. It's not super big, but it's a it's a pretty solid stove. It's pipe, going directly kinda. towards me. Oh, yeah, I can see one of the I can see one of the vortices. Yeah, you see it's about to cross the road. It is getting a bit wider too, starting to wedge yep. out a little bit. Yeah, this thing seems like a pretty solid drill bit. Woods are getting really high. Yeah, I I there's the a good chance. Yeah, it's like right over you, Ben. Yeah, I, I can tell. It is thinning out a lot. All right, we got a little bit of rotation developing just south of Hibbing. I may go after that one because um, that one is just now starting Whoa! to uh, rotate. A barn just exploded behind me. Did it really? Yes. Oh, wow. Uh, it's in wind speeds of 214 miles per hour. Big power flashes going off on the hill in Hazleton. It looks like it is hitting structures up in that area. Bro, oh, I'm going to explore the homes. Yeah, it does not look good. I can already see power flashes. Hey, Tiff team, where are you guys at? We're on the east side of the tornado. Yep. Yeah, this is a violent looking tornado. It is doing some damage. Um, we got some trees down in the middle of the road. All right, I'm getting cored by the tornado. We need a Again. gun mark. Oh, I can't see. Yeah. We're gonna lose uh, K Hazel. Are you, you guys intercepting? 122, 150, there goes the house. 160, oh, 170. I can see it exploding. Oh, I'm gone, 185. Oh boy. The oh, house is her. just exploding. It only hit my house and it's completely gone. Oh, look at oh, the debris the wrapping power. around the backside. Yeah, it is just, oh, uh, this is very risky. I see your vehicle, your probe oh, truck is looking in the, in the grass over here. I'm getting debris thrown at me. Wait, where's my probe track? All right. We're uh, a little oh, further. Okay. So, uh, uh, oh, hey, Jesse. How you doing? <laughs> See you guys. I'm out of here. Good luck. Um, this house is just leveled. So, um. Oh, my God. Okay. The Southern Storm looks really good. Uh, It's going to hit the National yeah. Weather Service. Yes, it yeah, is. It, I'm going to deploy the there. Are. Okay. We're going to lose. We're going to lose K Hazel any second now. Oh, I'm it's watching this table. thing. It's it right is, on our tail. It is hauling. It's chasing us down the road. Oh, there. Radar's gone. Radar, look, it's rolling. It's rolling yeah. around. We just Weather's watched. Oh, no. It. There it goes. We just watched yeah. the uh, radar station get completely blown away. Well, oh, back to the building was damaged, so too. Is the radar down? Yep. yep. Yeah. yeah. It's, oh, it's rolling it around. Is, it is down. The building is actually not in bad condition. It's just the, the radar. Just a little roof damage. So Look at how know. narrow that thing is. Oh, wow. Yeah, Very it's needly. roping out. I'm going to watch this tornado here. It's pretty majestic, just sort of pouring through the earth in the distance there. So that's pretty cool. All right. So there's a new storm forming. Unfortunately, we don't have a lot of radar. But luckily, this storm is in the area where there is radar, just limited radar. So, Ryan, do you have any uh, real life chasing stories where uh, you had to chase without good radar? Yeah, there's actually a couple of areas in the country that don't have great radar coverage and in those areas it's hard to see rotation sometimes so we just kind of have to position ourselves where we would see the base of the storm and then visually spot the storm those areas really rely on our reports too yeah i can imagine that's pretty critical to uh getting those uh tornado warnings out and uh yeah we'll try to do the same we'll try to stay a little far away from this storm watch what it's doing and then go in for the intercept how far ahead do you want us to get, Jesse? I'd say what we need to do is get across the river and then make a right, get south, and then we'll be out of this rain, and we'll be where the hook is. And at that point, then we can chase the tornado. Yeah, do we know about where this tornado is on the ground? Because it's kind of hard to tell since we have uh, no radar. It's just north of West Verroqua. It's between West Verroqua and the farmstead. Okay. Um, There's a couple dirt roads coming up we can go north on to meet it on. Look over to uh, to our southwest. Oh yeah, look at that. What's going east? There's a tiff team. Or west. Yeah, it is widening out a little bit. It is a We're solid there. wedge. Drop some probes too. Would you yeah. would you say this is 
a good position or do you think we should I am X get that ready you know what Ben I think we're in a pretty good spot uh, no right infield. now all right let's wait here then oh it's moving north let's again go north. let's go north damn it it's wobbling it does look to be yeah, like it's thinning it, right? out a little bit yeah are you guys backing out yeah you're backing out you back it up yeah because I Undeployed, undeployed and then it came back east at us it's damaging those uh warehouses next to you already uh yeah ben we might need to get ready to deploy on this thing it's coming right at us right there we're gonna we're gonna grab our probes real quick and try to get jump in front of it again I, I don't know if we're gonna have time but we'll try ben yeah i'm driving I towards it with my drone yeah just forget the drone we gotta go oh, this yeah, thing's gonna be here in just a moment what's oh, the winds yeah. out there uh 100 right now oh how about I'm that? getting uh, 100 mile an hour wind gusts. Uh, oh, air! Uh oh. Outside of the tornado. Wait, air or on For me? The... Yeah, I'm in a pro uh, probe truck. Yeah, I'm trying to get close oh, enough so I can get some good scans on it to get a I'm general not estimate this. of I'm winds. Getting, I'm getting like 120 gusts, uh, yeah, and I'm not even near the tornado yet. Yeah, uh, we got hit with. That's why I also backed up is because before we were even even inside of it, we were getting over 100 mile per hour winds. So I was like, yeah, we're not deployed. I am in the funnel though, so, oh. Got to go further. 179, yep. 193, I'm gone. There's that paved road coming up after this dirt. Oh, 211, yeah. All right, I'm oh, about wow. to get in place to get some scans on it. There's yeah, a get some 227, 225, 225. Well, Tiv would not have survived that, so I'm glad you guys backed out. Me too, but we may still try to get an outer edge. If, uh, yeah, uh, the winds inside the tornado are now up to 236. Yeah, oh. I got 230. Ooh. Oh, wow. Maybe about half a mile thing. away from this thing, and it's about to cross the road to my east. Yeah, since it's constricting... Like, scan. It's constricting, so it's probably uh, strength that it's uh, its winds are getting faster. 224. Oh, wow. Yeah, deviated um, north. 224, wow. Yep. That tree just went uh, down. Inside. 227, 230. That tree went down and wasn't even in the tornado. You can see, those, uh, yeah, yeah, you can see the board. trees going down as it's crossing. Oh, oh god. I'm oh, out. No, 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 no. Extra error, error. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> I'm in the wrong seat. I'm in the wrong seat. It won't let me switch. Yeah, oh the the RFD just kicked in immediately. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Probe truck's gone. I'm about to be gone. 140. I'm gone. I'm looking. Oh, oh, I see you. I see you. Oh, oh. 173. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Got to back out of here. Uh, I died. 240. Oh, hey. Yeah, I see Ryan. No. Oh wow! Two seventy. Two fifty on Dow. Two seventy two. Two seventy five. Oh my gosh! It's still going. Two eighty two. Two eighty two. Oh my gosh! That I don't think it. I don't know if it's gonna go any higher than that. I just got two eighty five. Two eighty five. Two eighty seven. Oh, power flashes. Can we get three hundred? Uh, I don't think we're gonna hit three hundred, but we're close. Man, this tornado! It's Holy cow! So constant two fifty plus. All right, so I'm gonna go for that new storm. I think I might be able to get a probe on it. However, it does have a tornado down right now. Yeah, it could be heading right for Hazelton too, by the way. Oh, really? I think really? it's on the southern side already. Yeah. Uh, this thing's descending on Hazelton right now. It's gonna clip the south, the southern oh, part. Oh, we got power flashes. I was just about to say, yeah, I'm seeing those power flashes from back here. It looks like the circulation yeah, is just flashes. totally consuming the entire city. Hey, how you oh. doing? Oh, hey, Tiff. Uh, yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting 80, so I'm getting out of here. Trees are going down. Yeah, it's scary that it looks like this thing isn't even condensed anymore. It's just invisible. I'm worried I might be driving into this thing. I don't know. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about, too. I'm going up the highway on uh, Interstate 33. Very large tornado. We got a large wedge on yeah. the ground. This thing's huge. It's yeah. huge. Uh, let me see if I can do this. Oh, 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 gosh. A piece of debris. I just saw a piece of debris get thrown on the backside. Uh, yeah, Um, get out of the path of this thing. Unless you're in an intercept vehicle, oh, get away. Yeah, I'm currently trailing behind it. It is a Going monster north. tornado. Absolute monster. You do not want to be in the path of this. Getting pelted by hail now. 130, 140 where Tiv is. Oh, there is the consistent yeah. tree debarking. 158. There is very thorough tree debarking in this area. Yeah, um, oh my god, I'm getting the RFD. I'm going, uh, west. Gonna get away from it. Whoa. Whoa, did it know? I got sucked up. I'm based gone. on this tree debarking, this gives me, like, 200 plus vibes. Like, it being well over 200 miles per hour. There's Tiv down there undeploying, and right next to it is this monster wedge, which is currently destroying Ten Strike. You can see debris being lofted. You can see mobile homes being flipped over. Oh, my gosh. Yep, mobile homes flipping right now. I see them. Oh, 
We just had a Bordesy next to us. Oh my uh -oh. god. Oh, he just went multi. Skin blocked. Need to get a clear spot. Another mobile home just went. Yeah, I'm watching it. It's just one after the next. Yeah. Oh, there it goes. Debris being goes lofted more. in. Wow. No, I see an entire roof the um, falling. I see a lot of stuff falling in Southern Hazleton. Look at the debarking. Oh, yeah, Tiff is there, Barn. Near there is, uh... <laughs> no way. Did you guys good, drive into it? Good. Um, yeah. I couldn't see. I, I, I couldn't see anything, man. The damage in 10 strike is... Yeah, it's very it's bad. intense. There's, like, barely any trees in there that are normal looking. So it looks like the peak winds of the big tornado that went through Hazleton, or the south end of Hazleton, were right over the highway. Because the tree damage here is pretty complete. Alright, so Jay Killen, it's been a little bit. Do you want to take us through the damage assessment you just did for a lot of the tornadoes we experienced? Yeah, so at least for the main damage assessment I've done is these two what have been rated EF4s. The first of which uh, was, uh, it formed over near Funkley. It kind of grazed the southeast side of Funkley. Traveled up through near Welchell. It uh, hit this one upper bound home. Uh, I rated it as all walls collapsed because, I mean, there were still parts of the flooring and, like, the sill plates and all that stuff that was still left. If those were gone, I could have potentially rated that EF5. And most notably, it actually poured right over the Hazelton radar and looking on the drone, you could see over there, it's missing the top part. If it was even stronger, there is a chance you could actually even collapse the actual tower structure with all the, I guess, the beams and the trusses and stuff like that. And then the second of the uh, EF4s, which was a Tornado 5, it was uh, our widest one so far on this day at around 3,800-ish feet. And I think that's mainly just for the funnel, including the wind field itself, maybe at its max point. Uh, a little over two miles, which is pretty big. And some main key points with that one, with just kind of inferring the strength, is this patch of very heavily debarked trees over where this overpass is. And as it kind of goes up, it does kind of dwindle down a little bit, but over near where 10 Strike is, uh, a lot of heavy damage occurred. Uh, most notably, the radar building that we started at, the gas station, which actually got rated EF4, and then the other EF4 indicator, if I remember, is one of these homes down here. Uh, I believe these two, or one of them, is uh, basically with all these walls gone on these uh, homes right here. It uh, helped warrant an EF4 rating for this one as well. All right, so yeah, that was a pretty eventful day of chasing. So thank you, Ryan, for joining us. And uh, out of curiosity, how was your experience chasing in Twisted? The day was pretty violent. That was very exciting for us. Yeah, I think this is a good place to end off the video. If you guys have enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and a comment. And I'll see you all next time, guys. Goodbye.